Point number 22 from the 2009 Advanced Higher First Paper came about three points in three-dimensional space, three three-dimensional points, show that these three points are collinear and show the ratio in which E divides DF. Well, first they put it down schematically, because obviously in three dimensions you can take viewpoints that gives them in any orientation. If I've got the points D, E and F, and I want to show they're collinear, that means that the vector DE would have to be a multiple of the vector EF in order to be parallel. So that means I'll work out DE and EF. So we have DE, what's the vector DE? What's the displacement that takes you from D to E? Now you can always just put that down yourself, because if you're starting at 10 and going to 1, it must have been back 9. If you're starting at negative 8 and going to negative 2, it must have been forward 6. But generally you put it down as subtract their position vectors. So the E being 1, negative 2, negative 3, and D being 10, negative 8, negative 15, gives you, obviously, 1 take away 10 is that negative 9, because it's going back 9. Negative 2 plus 8 is 6, because it's going forward 6. And negative 3 plus 15 is 12, because it's going forward 12. Doing the same with EF. So that should be F minus E. What's the displacement EF? What does it take to move from point E to point F? Well, you can see yourself. 1 to negative 2 should be 3 back, but so set it out arithmetically here. Negative 2, 0, 1, take away 1, negative 2, negative 3. What have we got then? So we're hoping there's some connection between the two of these. Negative 2, take away 1, negative 3, take away negative 2, 2, 1, take away negative 3, 1 plus 3 is 4. Now, for them to be parallel, this would have to be some multiple of this. That means each of the components must produce the same multiple. And then I can make a statement that would say DE is some multiple of EF. And that gives me a clue. How would I find that multiple? I would do those lengths divided by those lengths. So I'll just check that. Negative 9 divided by negative 3. Is that the same as 6 divided by 2? Is that the same as 12 divided by 4? Because those should all give this same multiplying the same ratio here, and those all come to 3, which means that DE is indeed 3 times EF as a multiple of it. So I can see now, that means, well, if it's a multiple of it, it must be parallel to it. That doesn't guarantee the line a straight line, because you can have two separate vectors that are parallel but aren't joined together. So I'll have to make another statement. Since the way I've done it, I've got E as a common point. Since E is a common point, so unfortunately you just have to write all this out, now I can say with certainty that D, E and F are collinear. Then, the ratio in which E divides DF. Well, I've got it here. DE is 3 times EF. It doesn't look like that, of course, which means that part would be 3 and that part would be 1. So the ratio is 3 to 1, so you could state it like that. Or you could say if you were to divide that out, what would you have? You'd have if DE is 3 times EF, then DE over EF must be 3 over 1. That would be the ratio, because that's the rational number. So I could say DE to EF is... 3 to 1, either way. It would just be a simple statement just for that mark. Part B then. G has coordinates K1, 0. Given that DE, which I've kept here, is perpendicular to GE, I'll take a note of that before I forget it, find the value of K. Well, perpendicular, scalar product, Scalar product 0 if they're perpendicular. The scalar product, of course, is the projection. It's a multiplication, because it's a product. It's a product of the lengths, but it's a product of the lengths when you take the projection of one onto the other, like shining a light down on it. So if one vector was actually perpendicular, it would have no shadow. There'd be nothing to multiply by. So I want GE first of all. So E minus G. Well, E is 1, negative 2, negative 3. G is K1, 0. Subtracting them would be 1 minus K. Negative 2 take away 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 take away nothing is negative 3. There's my two vectors. Those two vectors are meant to be perpendicular. Well, that means that their scalar product should equal 0. So DE 
perpendicular to GE means that DE, scalar product, dot product, GE should equal zero. And then just go through, so what is the scalar product? That means that negative nine times one minus K plus six times negative three plus 12 times negative three should equal zero. What does that lot give me? Well, that gives me a negative nine plus nine K minus 18 minus 36 should equal zero. I'll put all the numbers over to one side. So I'm keeping 9k in this side and I'm throwing the rest over. Notice we've got their own multiples of 9 there, they're all being subtracted. I've got 1, 2, 3, and another 4 is 7, so that must be 63 it comes to. Positive on the other side. Dividing by 9, k is 7. Well, that was quite short for 4 marks. Why complain?